Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the first Hamilton Cats and Dogs special where I'll be giving my Hamilton Sims cats or dogs. Or in this case, a turtle. <laughs> So in the last episode of the Let's Play, I asked you guys to leave suggestions for what kind of animals I should give the Hamilton Sims. And the general idea uh, for Lawrence and Hamilton was either a puppy for Philip or a turtle. <laughs> now there's, there's a couple of like problems with that. First of all, we don't really have a Philip yet. So... Getting a puppy now wouldn't work because it wouldn't be a puppy anymore when Philip is here. And also there's just like this slight, just the slightest issue that there's no turtles in The Sims 4. <laughs> so what I decided to do was give them a cat, name the cat Turtle, and then turn the cat into a turtle. Obviously that's, that's not going to be the most accurate thing to a turtle, but I think the cat turned out really cute uh, and somewhat resembles a turtle-like thing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to create turtle and then I'll show a little bit of gameplay that I recorded uh, of the first night of turtle living with Lawrence and Hamilton. So I'm definitely also planning to do this for the other characters. In this let's play I'm not sure in what order I'm going to be doing it or if I'm gonna combine some in one video and how many videos are gonna be coming out and when I'm not sure but just expect more of these to come hopefully somewhere this week. So I think the hardest part of creating turtle was picking out the right pattern for its shell and also just for the rest of his body. Um, I started out with doing these paint splatters and then I picked another pattern and then I found this one which makes a lot more sense but then I had to redo everything so you'll see me erase some of the spots and putting in uh, this but I did have a lot of fun creating this cat because I have played around with create a pet a little bit but I haven't really done anything that's like to an extreme or like a little more creative I guess so <laughs> creating a turtle is really fun. So since the cats and dogs expansion is quite new you'll see some glitching in this video happening some bugs that need to be worked out where the cat just uncontrollably started spinning around and wouldn't stop spinning unless I... <laughs> Unless I switched to a different sim in the household, so that was quite annoying. I could only use the arrow keys on the screen and not on my keyboard. Because otherwise the cat would just stop spinning and never stop again. But other than that, I had a bunch of fun creating this cat. I think he turned out pretty well for someone who's trying to create a turtle in The Sims, even though we don't have turtles. Uh, I think he's really cute and it's probably going to be a lot of fun having a little cat run around the house in the Hamilton Let's Play. And I'm also going to be creating pets for Malette and for the Skyler sisters and for George Washington. You probably already guess what I'm going to create for George Washington because there was literally only one suggestion from multiple people but there was only one <laughs> so you can probably if you go to the comments on that video you can already see what i'm gonna be creating speaking of dogs so that was my dog <laughs> um she is very loud today and has been for the last couple of days i think she's begging me to create her in the sims and so she's just like trying to annoy me as much as possible so at some point i will and i will at some point <laughs> But not, not today, not today. Today we're focusing on the turtle that I'm creating for Lambs. But if you're wondering why I'm creating a turtle for Lawrence, it's because, um, and this has been told to me too, I didn't know this before, so if you don't, that's fine. Uh, I think most of you do, but uh, it's been speculated that Lawrence had a sort of like fascination for turtles and he painted them a lot and there's like paintings out there that are speculated to be his work although I don't think it's confirmed uh, I think there's like a really big chance that it is his work so yeah he, he always really had a love for turtles but I couldn't give him an actual turtle but I can give him a cat that looks like a turtle and will definitely be painting him, him at some point because obviously Lawrence paints turtles but we don't have turtles so he's gonna paint a cat that looks like a tur turtle and is named after a turtle. So I'm probably not the most knowledgeable on this whole Lawrence and turtle thing. I've read about it in the comments and I've read about it on Tumblr a little bit. But if anyone knows more about the whole Lawrence turtle thing and wants to share, leave a comment so other people can read it and I can read it. So we can find out more about this whole thing. 
And I think we're nearing the end of the whole painting process. As you could see in this video, I went over it a couple of times, trying out different patterns, trying out different stems, as I believe they are called, trying out different colors. But I think it turned out pretty well, especially for someone with zero artistic skills. I'm not jo John Lawrence. <laughs> I have no painting skills at all like i am a disaster normally but in the sims for cats and dogs i'm kind of okay-ish but i think he turned out pretty cute i made him a little more fluffy because then he had a I kind of like more rounded back so it looked more like a shell which I liked and I'm working on his face a little bit I changed his ears because I don't think turtles really have any prominent ears so I gave him the like folded ears because I already like those a lot but it also kind of looks like um he doesn't have any ears and that's good because we wanted that and then the last thing to do is put in his traits I made him affectionate because I feel like Lawrence would really like to cuddle him a lot, so I made him affectionate, so that would be uh, not be an issue. Then I made him skittish, because I did like a quick Google search on traits that turtles normally have, and they are afraid of loud noises, so I made him skittish, and then I also made him territorial, because turtles can be t territorial. Not always, but they can be, so those are the traits that I picked for this cat. But then we're probably going to jump into the video, into the gameplay, and that's the last thing you'll hear from me. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!